we're taking a look at the Sabertooth Z87 motherboard from Asus. So firstly, you can see it still has a very nice thermal armor as similar to the previous uh, generations of Sabertooth motherboards. Uh, firstly, it has uh, 11, LGA1150 and uh, it supports all your Haswell processors and your, what's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, this LGA1150 as well as uh, we have nice color coded that fits the Tooth series uh, for DDR3 DIMMs. Uh, it supports overclocking up to 2800 MHz. We have a DRAM MEM OK button at the top as well as a 24 pin. Oops, I'm running out of battery so there's no flash. 24 pin uh, PC uh, power connector, there's 8 pin over here. And I should actually uh, switch over here for you to prevent airflow coming out from the thermal armor. And, yes. and this is where the fan goes. There's PCI Express X1 and X16 over here. And then another X1 as a. And a Physical X8, but <coughs> I mean a physical X16 if electrical X8, as well as another, oops, another X1 over here, and lastly we have another X16, but probably you can't see it, another X16 slot. At the bottom we can see a direct key, and for the side we have a USB 3.0 expansion as well as eight uh, SATA 6 gigabit per second ports. <coughs> lastly at the end we can see four USB 2.0 uh, BIOS flashback as well as uh, two more USB 3.0, two eSATAs, a display port, the HDMI port, the SPD, another two uh, USB 3.0, Gearbit LAN, as well as eight channel audio out. Uh, for the back of the motherboard, you can see it actually has the thermal armor as well. Uh, from what, what we say, what we know from this is that actually the prevents the board from actually bending if you have a heavy CPU cooler. So there we have it, uh, it's the Sabertooth Z87 from Jesus.